Welcome to another episode of Flavor Judge, where I, just for the fun of it, examine a magic card and judge whether or not, from a lore perspective, it accurately represents the character or event it depicts. Last month, I discussed the battle between Nicol Bolas and Ugin the Spirit Dragon, as well as the effects this conflict would have on the world of Tarkir. Today, we're looking at the card that represents this pivotal moment in Tarkir's history, the Crux of Fate. In the story, this battle between Elder Dragons decided the very fate of Tarkir itself. In the original version of the timeline, without interference, Ugin is slain by Nicol Bolas. As a result, the Dragon Tempests end, and since the Dragon Tempests are the source of Dragons of Tarkir, no new dragons manifest, and the five clans are able to hunt these flying lizards into extinction, making way for the world of Khans of Tarkir. Meanwhile, in a new, altered timeline, Sarkon Vol travels back to the past and saves Ugin's life by placing him inside a mystical Hedron cocoon. This magical stasis allows the spirit dragon to recover from his terrible injuries, but also has the side effect of intensifying the dragon tempests. More dragons are spawned than ever before, and the clans are all but conquered by the five dragon lords, leading to the horrible world of Dragons of Tarkir. The results of this battle truly did determine the fate of a world. With that said, let's examine the card. Crux of Fate is a sorcery that costs three generic mana and two black mana. Its effect is simple, a choice between two modes. Destroy all dragons, or destroy all non-dragons. I'm not gonna lie, this is honestly one of the most flavorful cards I've ever looked at. Its first mode perfectly represents the original timeline. With Nicol Bolas' victory, dragons are driven entirely extinct on Tarkir. Meanwhile, its second mode gives a good glimpse at the effects of Ugin's survival. While all other races aren't annihilated in this new timeline, the people of Tarkir now exist as either food or slaves to their draconic overlords, and at any time could be snuffed out by these flying beasts. This card perfectly captures an important moment in Magic's story, and for that reason, I'm happy to declare it a flavor win. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or share it with your friends. Also, feel free to check out other lore videos on my channel. I've got over two dozen now for you to peruse. If you're subscribed and have notifications turned on, you'll be alerted whenever I upload new videos. Thanks again, and have a great day.